You, you know? gave me shit about that, Teresa. It was like a fucking no, no, joke. No, not, it was, I was not, in the midst of me no. sticking up for you for a whole no, season. No, no, I'm not saying coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey <laughs> after show. Well, this is mom not being invited. No, it's not an oversight. No, oh, Tree, don't I say know, it like I that. Well, I always kept them an arm's length away. Your mom wouldn't hurt a fly. No, what she did was birth me. By sitting here like a jerk off, yeah, and everybody's talking about me. More to the story. Do we know her whole story about her sister? Do we? Do we even know a fucking quarter of it? Have you ever stayed at your brother's house? No. Overnight, never. 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 You're not staying at my house because you don't want to. Shut the f up and stop <laughs> faking. Just sure. stop. She asked to stay there once, and Melissa said no. Melissa have... said no. <laughs> really? The Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts now. Welcome to the after show. Let's dive in. I want to start at the luau when Jackie questions Danielle's story about the fallout with her brother. They're calling bull on Danielle's story. She doesn't speak to her sibling. There is no chance that that's the whole story. It's more than stupid Instagram videos. She should mind her own yeah, business, she mind really. Her own business. She doesn't Worry about her, her own sister. sister. Exactly. I it's have a sister I'm nuts. estranged from, so I'm talking from, from this standpoint. You know, like, sorry, but like, you don't go from being like this with your sibling to like all of a sudden like blocking them on Instagram and like then you're like your whole family is uninvited from the wedding. Have you I talked to your brother at all? No. Aww. So I had blocked him on social media because he was making fun of me and he lost his mind. I, I want you out of my wedding. And that was it. That doesn't happen like that. Maybe it's the lawyer in me, but I see gaping holes. Do we know her whole story about her sister? Do we? Do we even know a fucking quarter of it? Yeah. I have questions about that now then. Maybe Danielle should ask her about her whole story with her sister. Like I she can't calls imagine. her sister-in-law a mega bitch. If my son marries a mega bitch, I will poison her. She also admitted that she said to her brother, like, I see now what I'm dealing with. That's not nice. Yeah. She was so devastated about it. It's very, very, very painful. This was not, obviously, again, a way to make it better, I don't think. Yeah, like, there's there's more to the story. And, you know, the fact that she got so mad was very telling. Am I sitting here like a jerk off? Yeah, I said, and everybody's talking about me. I don't do well with that. I'm so mad. Here I am at this party, and I felt it. You know when you just feel, like, the shoulder? Do I get this feeling about Danielle? I think she has a piece of her that's not that nice. I was like, what's happening here? This is something's happening. I just heard my name everywhere. I see the part of her that is next. And I just wanted to, like, what, what's, like, my first instinct, right? When you hear somebody, when you hear yeah. somebody saying like, your name, you're like, wow, yeah, what do you want? Let's go, let's talk it yeah. out. Yeah. I was literally me? biting my lips, like, you're supposed to be my girls, you're supposed to have my back, and just say, we got you, we, we hear you. Mm -hmm. I was so out of my element, I just, I wanted to like. You wanted to leave. Oh yeah, I was like, yeah. Bill was drunk, was the guys so drunk. were carrying him out. It was gonna get really bad, and I think at that point, I wanna leave. I'm done, let's go. She didn't know what to say. She never thought that would happen. She thought everyone would take her at her word, and that she would get to tell the story about how she's the and victim and her became... brother's the bad guy, and, and then she got questioned and all hell broke loose. She must have balls 10 feet long to ever wanna go toe to toe to me. So that's what happens when you don't wanna tell the truth. You don't wanna tell the truth, you huff out. Margaret calls it a huff out. You huff out. Danielle huffs out. I mean, it's that's childish. If you can't face your group of friends that you want to be friends with and no one's allowed to go, then you're, you're a baby. I'm sorry. It's very, very childish. It's, it's a temper tantrum. You can't be questioned. Well, maybe this is the issue your family had with you. So uh, time for a little self-reflection. I was so angry. I, I was defending you to them. Like, listen, we it's not about us trying to investigate what the behind the scenes is. Right. It's about listening to our friend who is hurt right now and is going through something. So to sit there and question like, oh, there's got to be more to the story. Like, dude, can you be a friend? Yeah. Do you know how to be a friend? But if you're going to like tell a story like, oh, I blocked my brother on Instagram and he kicked me out of his wedding and now we don't talk anymore and his wife is a mega bitch. Like, it does, it's not really making sense here. Yeah. 
So like if you're gonna tell a story, tell the whole thing. There is p parts of the story that do sound like they're missing, but I don't want to be in a group of people talking about it like that, you know? We don't know the whole like, story, but we know her story, so that should be it. You guys got it wrong. Like, I agree with you that there yeah. could be something else. Right. I, I agree. So when I tell people that and then they still got to dig, that's the thing, right? Well, Digging. the Margaret's the queen of that camp, so. Right, so. At the Luau, Jen Fessler asks Teresa about Donna Marco's invite. Okay, so I almost plots on the floor. I was like, I can't believe she's bringing this up because I know it's going to go south. We were talking about before, like, the whole thing with, like, Melissa's mom not being invited. And I'm like, okay, maybe Teresa could, like, redeem herself. And then Teresa's like, oh, my God. You know, no, we have a past. No, oh, it's not an oversight. We have a history. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I was like... Please don't say that. Please don't say you have a past. I was like, what past could you possibly have with Donna Marco? All she does is giggle, laugh, have a good time. Every time I've seen her, she was spending time with your father. I was like, why are you saying this? Teresa is terrible with delivery. Yes. Terrible. Yes. The way she asked Melissa to be in the wedding, uh, horrible. Know. You know in her truth, she wanted to say, I want this shit to end, Melissa, just be in my wedding. Mm -hmm. But when she says, I mean, do you want to be in the wedding? wedding? It's I like, know. no, Trey, don't I say know, it like I that. Know, I know. We know you don't mean it like I know, that. But then she modified. She, she, she could, saved yeah, herself. but I know. why are you acting like you're doing me a favor? I'm not. I would love for you to be a bridesmaid in my in my wedding. I'm being for real. At this point, Teresa's doing things based on how she feels. Obviously, she's inviting people she just meets that make her happy. I told her to bring you. Really? Yeah. So kind of you. It's her truth in that moment. Okay. Donna Marco, she probably had a certain f way she felt about her. What did Melissa's mom do? She's as sweet as sugar. Like, what could she possibly have done? Your mom wouldn't hurt a fly. No, what she did was birth me. The reason why I didn't invite Dad and Marco, I'm not that close with them. Like, I'm not close with Melissa, so I'm not really close with the family. When I see them, am I respectful? Yes. Hi, goodbye. That's all it is. You know, my father went to my brother's house. They were cordial with each other. Yes, that, that's all it was. It's not like they, they were so close. And when Melissa came on the show, yeah. her family was writing stuff about me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, and they were trashing me. So I always kept them an arm's length away. I know, Teresa, I can hold a grudge. However, I... Not that I'm holding a grudge. At, at this time, I, I don't want to associate with people like that. Right. Maybe not holding a grudge, but it hasn't been forgotten. Let's say that. And no, it has been forgotten because I'm a, I'm around them and I'm social with them. You look beautiful. Um, so do you. But do I want them to come to my wedding and celebrate me? We're not close like that. I mean, anybody can invite whoever they want to their wedding, but I think it was meant to be a slap in the face, even if she wants to swing it. And I have no issue with Teresa right now. You know, like we're we're fine. So this is not meant to start a fight or anything, but like there's no way to swing that. Like that was meant to be a slap in the face. It was. I certainly wouldn't blame Melissa for being pissed. I mean, oh yeah. She didn't want to invite her, she didn't invite her, and that's that. Another line drawn in the sand. She's drawing every possible line and then you wanna know why Joe's upset. Were you guys invited to Teresa's wedding? No. That's sad. That's really Why did you think that we would be invited? Yeah. It's like we're just That's, building animosity. He's, he's just yeah. trying, yeah, like he's trying to take it all in right now because, you know, it's a lot to take in. So later on at the luau, we have a little fun. Oof. Oh, you pussy! He's just recovering. As I swear to God, John still has ingrown hairs. Poor John Food is so drunk, he doesn't even know what they're doing to him. And to do a group waxing of like basically a baby bear is barbaric. <laughs> he almost had third degree burns, I swear I to God. I know he did. Oh my God, what? That, you don't what? remember this? Jen, he no. put his hand on his hoo-ha's here with the wax and ripped it off. <laughs> No, he did not. He did. Was there hair on his hand? Yes. Do we have pictures? Can I not. have a picture of your husband like this with John's chest hair. hair all over his hands. No. Like this. And he was missing a whole piece of chest hair. It was all red. Oh, my God. That's just, that just is like frat boy stuff. John was new to the group. I think he wanted to show that he had cojones, right? I mean, like, listen, again, I don't think that John minded. I thought, I think the no. whole, they were beside themselves. It was funny. Oh, that was so weird. 
I thought they were just being the typical goofy, funny guys that they're always being. Mm -hmm. It was really yeah. funny. I just think Never that. Never was bad. A hundred percent. I think Rachel just in that moment felt bad for John. Grown Your hair. husband was waxing the same skin multiple right. times. Right. right. You can't put hot wax. I was kind of happy though. Why? Because I don't like the chest hair, and I've been know? asking him to do that so for a long time. So he needs to buzz it, just like a buzzer. I know. We know that's next season. I want to watch her buzz <laughs> John. Yes. In the shower. Let's oh go. Oh, my God. I do want to see that. I guess if I'm getting paid, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Later on at the luau, Margaret confronts Teresa about telling Danielle to watch out for her. But, Rachel, Teresa gets upset with you. I took, like, a sip of my first drink. And you know, like when you take a sip of alcohol and it hits you like instantly, like, you and then Teresa's like, "I heard," and I was like, "This just hit me at the perfect time." Huh? She like came at me like, "Oh, why are you trying to like start?" Shit? Like you said, I was talking. I mean, are you trying to cause a problem between me and Margaret? We were having a conversation, so I'm gonna be transparent with her. That's like like high school. I'm just telling her exactly what you said. I told her. I told Margaret exactly what Teresa said, which was that she makes a better friend than an enemy. I know how Margaret is. It's better to keep her as a friend than an enemy. Right. That's it. I agree. Like, why are you still even talking about me? You want to make up with me, and then you're, like, warning Rachel about me. Why is everybody seeding and talking negatively about me to other people? And Teresa's like, well, no, I'm just saying I'd be a bad enemy, too. Like, you know, you don't want Margaret on your bad side. I didn't say nothing bad. I just said, you get on her bad side, she's ruthless. You know, just like her Teresa logic out of it. Well, I was basically repeating what Jackie and Dolores had said the season before. You do not want Margaret to be your enemy. No. You gave me shit about that, Teresa. It was like a no, no, joke. Not, it was, I was not, in the midst of me no, sticking up for you for a whole no, season. No, I'm not, I'm I could, saying it was like, a I bad mean, thing. Yeah, I was but like, it wasn't I'm like, because like, like, anybody's afraid of Margaret. I'm not friends with Margaret because I'm afraid of her. I'm just saying, it was like a moment in time where I was I'm like, I'm not no. afraid of Margaret. Yeah. I'm so not afraid of Margaret at all. Like, um, and I know you're not. No. So, um, but my thing is that other people on the show are. And so she says it. I'm a loyal friend <laughs> and a lethal enemy. So don't push her buttons. Like when Jennifer pushed her buttons, she did something that was really rough. Bill had the affair with the office manager. Everybody knows. And that's why he left his old job. It's not only just Margaret. Anybody's like that. But my also thing is I, I wouldn't go digging up stuff on people. You know what? I'm not going to blow this up. It's not worth the headache. But again, it's just the, 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 the never ending of just like, well, you know, don't get on Margaret's bad side. D -d 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 well, don't get on anybody's bad side. It's not, it's not just about me. So she goes, oh, that's, that's what I meant. I know that's not what you meant, but I'm going to let it slide because it's not worth getting into a whole debacle again. I'm not going to spend months and months fighting with you. But why are you doing this? If you if you genuinely, sincerely wanted to make up with me, why are you talking negatively about me at all? Danielle is concerned that you're loaded with an arsenal of information on people. Arsenal. <laughs> you know, an arsenal, like I drop bombs. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. This is Margaret's best friend. She was saying that Margaret has an arsenal of stuff on women. Why is Danielle spreading like this third hand information to Rachel? Why are they so obsessed with me? That's what I want to know. I mean, I know that she said these things about these people. She dropped the bomb on Teresa with Louis and then with Jen. She threw that rumor out. She's got on your mother's sister's father's and aunt's cousin. Right. And I was telling Rachel as my friend, we were in this together. I didn't know that she built relationships with, deeper relationships with people, you know, that I wasn't aware of. I was shopping with Danielle this week. She was saying that you have, like, this, like, arsenal, like, you were, like, locked and loaded, like, you had information so on every single one and of them. I was telling her, like, I heard this, I heard that, let's be careful, Very let's watch trusting, out. Right? Very trusting, Very trusting. I thought we were two girls coming into this friend group together, we had each other's mm -hmm. back. It was not, like, stay well, away. She... Like, I feel like I'm in the middle of the movie. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, what information are we talking about here? Do we even know that? Like, do we know that she's locked and loaded, like, ready to fire? This did not come from Margaret's mouth. When Margaret has information, Margaret says the information that she has. She does not hold back. Margaret didn't say this. This was, like, right. a friend of, this is a game of freaking telephone. telephone. Margaret's ex-friend said, Margaret is the one that drops the bomb 
on everybody. Was that with this woman, Laura? Well, I think it's hysterical, considering she doesn't know my ex-best friend, and she's hearing this from Jennifer. Margaret really does, like, take all of her time to find yeah. out as much as she can about all of us. Does everybody know things about each other? Of course. Do I drop bombs? No. Why? Because I said one thing that I know about Jennifer Aiden. I said your husband also had an affair. Oh, you worked it out. Wait. But she I was telling it. Margaret. Yes. Tough the truth hurts. That's not a bomb. With Rachel. Was her vibe like in agreement with you or was it? One thousand million percent in agreement. Okay. It was like, I know girl, let's try to make yeah. everybody good. Like we literally stood there and we we're like, be careful with Margaret. She's better than a friend than an enemy. I feel like they're gonna release a fing pit bull and it's like Margaret standing there with the cast on her arm. I know, I heard it, I know, I know, I know, I know. And that's why it was okay to talk about right. it, right? I felt comfortable. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm going to go tell Margaret that. Her and Danielle were shopping the other day. And Danielle said, well, Margaret, you know, she has an arsenal just waiting to drop it on people. An arsenal? I mean, if I would hope that if somebody said that about me, you would come tell of me. Of course I would, yeah. I mean, in this group, if you say something, you know it's going to get repeated. So it's like, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> just know everything you say and do will be held against you. <laughs> <laughs>'Cause I had my own shore house. Right. I mean I would always if I if I had a shore house, I would always if my brother didn't have a shore house, I would always say, Come stay at my house. Right. So it's like crazy. I'm used to it. Do you ever stay at your old shore house? Like have you guys ever yes. done like a shore weekend as a family no, together? No, yes, but like she had hers and I had mine. My uh, other shore house was very tiny, it couldn't she couldn't sleep there if she wanted to. Well she did say that one time. Gia asked to stay at your house, but you guys said no. <laughs> really? Do you ask to stay there once and Melissa said no? And Melissa have... said no? I just am not talking about the kids. Okay. It's like so sad. Um, and then we would say no. Okay. But you know what's so funny? Why have I never been asked to stay at her mm. shore house? Why don't we ever talk about that? My daughter wanted to stay at her house, but she didn't. Can we talk about that? Like, what? I am so sick of the double standard. Like, you're not staying at my house because you don't want to. Shut the f up and sure. stop faking. Just sure. stop. Do us all a favor, please, because I'm exhausted. Would you and Louie have stayed at your brother's shore house if he would have invited you to stay? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Were we good then? I'm, I, I mean, I think we started the season off. He was, like, hot-headed as soon as we started. You didn't dress up? <laughs> I was going to wear a Run DMC shirt. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it was like a gym like shirt. Like it was so. cut yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? For what reason? I have no idea. Because we were fine. Like in New York, we were fine. Bitch boy, Joe, sorry, you are. You know what, matter of fact, I quit. Okay. So if I, you know, me, Melissa and I are not close, so that's why it is what it is. She knows she's always welcome to stay at our shore house, but she always chose to stay at her own, or she chose to stay at Dolores's, always. So like, why all of a sudden now you wanna stay at my shore house? It's fine, I have an extra room for her too if she really wanted to. It, like, whatever. And I feel like Teresa, <laughs> literally sits down and says to Louie this season, I am not close with my sister-in-law. Why would I invite her family to my wedding? And why would I, if I'm not putting her in my wedding? If I didn't put Melissa in my wedding, I'm not close to Melissa. Why would I be close to her family? Why would you sleep in my house then? Invite the girl, Touché. go sleep at the house where she is in your wedding. Touché. Hello, it doesn't take a genius. Beep. <sighs> right? Why you stay at my house? Stay at your bridesmaid's house. That's why. Stay at the girl that you want to walk you down the aisle. Oh my God. Not me. Doesn't make any sense. I don't blame you.